Okay, so let's uh, show where we are here with the uh, with the filament. I've already got one of these uh, threaded, and what we're doing essentially is uh, threading through the uh, the wire vias that are closest to the the pin joint, threading in across up one and back out and then we're just tying a knot off here and then taking the tail of that segment and if this is the end that that we're uh, knotted or tied to then that tail is going to come uh, across the pin joint here curl counterclockwise around it and then down counterclockwise again around this joint and down and then that emerges uh, on the other side now uh, as, a, as I'm saying that the the example that I'm showing is actually opposite of that this cable is going uh, clockwise around each of these joints then down and clockwise again and that is going to provide this uh, curl to the right in this case. Okay, now I'm, I've already started the second one. Uh, it's tied opposite and it's already looped around the first joint and I'm bringing it down the second. So that's going to curl in the other direction. Now what we want to do, and the nice thing about this wire as opposed to say the uh, speaker wire or the dental floss uh, this is very easy to thread it's almost like threading a shoelace it's not terribly easy but uh, it works a lot better than trying to uh, push dental floss so we've threaded that now down behind the pin joint turn that over Take the end and come over the pin joint. That comes back out this side. Okay. And now we want to go uh, straight through the last segment and out the back. And that's going to finish the second tendon. Just like so. Now at the end of the T-joint then, we've got uh, above the joint, we've got one tendon coming out and one below. And these then would uh, go into the palm through the the vias on the spherical joint and attach to whatever servo you're experimenting with either a, a nano servo a little uh, long throw uh, screw drive linear th servo um, if you've got something more exotic like a, an electromagnet that's pulling on these tendons or using uh, say the uh, the twisting action that um, uh, something sort of like a Spanish uh, windlass uh, to actually cause tension. Now I'm going to try just to hold these and sort of like a marionette actuate this finger completely. And so now you're starting to see we're, we're getting the idea and this uh, filament uh, either spider wire or the suffix um, is really I think going to work well it seems to be holding and I'm able to put a lot of tension on these um, it's taking a lot of the slack out of the joints now normally uh, our fingers don't turn fully in both directions so I may have to add some stiffness here or we're just going to say this is a design feature 
and go from there. So I hope you've enjoyed this so far and uh, I look forward to showing you um, the finished palm, finger, thumb, uh, completed model with servos at some point, but uh, that concludes uh, this particular project. Uh, so we've created a, a 3D printed, uh, computer designed hand model and demonstrated the actual uh, articulation of the fingers using some, uh, some polyethylene filament tendons. Uh, you guys have fun. Download the model and play with it. Let me know what you think and let me know uh, how you'd like to improve this because uh, I can already see now that I'm holding this in my hand a uh, couple of things I'm going to do. I'm going to hollow that center shaft so I can run filament straight through there and uh, maybe change the, the way these pin joints work. Uh, but that's the cool part of using a 3D software. You can try out a lot of these things and then actually hold them in your hand after you make it real. Thanks you guys. Take care. That's it for now.